The Septuagint, Psalm 68 Let God arise, and let his enemies be scattered, and let them that hate him flee from before him. As smoke vanishes, let them vanish. As wax melts before the fire, so let the sinners perish from before God. But let the righteous rejoice. Let them exult before God. Let them be delighted with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to His name. Make a way for Him that rides upon the west. The Lord is His name. And exult before Him. They shall be troubled before the face of Him. Who is the father of the orphans and judge of the widows? Such is God in His holy place. God settles the solitary in a house, leading forth prisoners mightily, also them that act provokingly, even them that dwell in tombs. O God, when Thou wentest forth before Thy people, when Thou wentest through the wilderness, Selah. The earth quaked, yea, the heavens dropped water at the presence of the God of Sinai, at the presence of the God of Israel. O God, Thou wilt grant to Thine inheritance a gracious rain, for it was weary, but Thou didst refresh it. Thy creatures dwell in it. Thou hast in Thy goodness prepared for the poor. The Lord God will give a word to them that preach it in a great company. The King of the forces of the Beloved, of the Beloved, will even grant them for the beauty of the house to divide the spoils. Even if ye should lie among the lots, ye shall have the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her breast with yellow gold. When the heavenly one scatters kings upon it, they shall be made snow white in Selman. The mountain of God is a rich mountain, a swelling mountain, a rich mountain. Wherefore do ye conceive evil, ye swelling mountains? This is the mountain which God has delighted to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it for ever. The chariots of God are ten thousandfold, thousands of rejoicing ones. The Lord is among them in Sinai, in the holy place. Thou art gone up on high, thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts for man, yea, for they were rebellious, that thou mightest dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord daily, and the God of our salvation shall prosper us. Selah. Our God is the God of salvation, and to the Lord belong the issues from death. But God shall crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crown of them that go on in their trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan. I will bring my people again through the depths of the sea. That thy foot may be dipped in blood, and the tongue of thy dogs be stained with that of thine enemies. Thy goings, O God, have been seen, the goings of my God, the King, in the sanctuary. The princes went first, next before the players on instruments, in the midst of damsels playing on timbrels. Praise God in the congregations, the Lord from the fountains of Israel. There is Benjamin, the younger one, in ecstasy, the princes of Judah, their rulers, the princes of Zebulun, the princes of Naphtali. O God, command thou thy strength. Strengthen, O God, this which thou hast wrought in us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents to thee. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reed. Let the crowd of bulls with the heifers of the nations be rebuked so that they who have been proved with silver may not be shut out. Scatter thou the nations that wish for wars. 
ambassadors shall arrive out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall hasten to stretch out her hand readily to God. Sing to God, ye kingdoms of the earth, sing psalms to the Lord. Selah. Sing to God that rides on the heaven of heaven eastward. Lo, he will utter a mighty sound with his voice. Give ye glory to God. His excellency is over Israel, and his power is in the clouds. God is wonderful in his holy places, the God of Israel. He will give power and strength to his people. Blessed be God.